If you guys want to be with a chance to win both the next generation consoles, then make sure you click the link in the description box down below to enter the Arax Gaming Stream Team giveaway. Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. And today I thought we'd sit down and talk about some of the rumors surrounding both Silent Hill and Metal Gear Solid remakes. Some of you guys may have heard these. These have been doing the rounds for a little while and I thought I'd put together a little sort of rumor roundup to uh, kind of get us all caught up on where we're currently at with these potential titles. It's kind of interesting as well because of course the Game Awards is next week and while things will obviously be remote and digital this year, Game Awards is often a place where brand new trailers drop and anything is possible. So with that being said, uh, let's talk about a couple of these, uh, I was going to say Konami classics, but uh, I feel like whenever you say the word Konami, it's kind of like in Harry Potter where you're not supposed to say Voldemort, it's like he who shall not be named. So uh, let's just skirt around that and just talk about these games, all right? So, Silent Hills. Firstly, what do we know about this? Well, let's start off with the kind of concept and the cancellation, because back in 2012, Hideo Kojima was asked to direct the next installment in the Silent Hill franchise, which he of course gladly accepted. After two years of development, an interactive teaser of the game, dubbed PT, stands for Playable Teaser, was of course released on the PlayStation Network store as a free download for PS4. The teaser was met with overwhelming praise, with journalists describing it as one of the most frightening interactive experiences in recent years. However, fast forward to 2015, Konami released an official statement stating that Silent Hills would not be continued, but they plan to continue the Silent Hill franchise. Difference between Hills and Hill. Of course, that is the history that we already know to be true. However, turning attention to the rumours, back in March, there was a website that stated that Sony themselves were working to settle the differences between Kojima Productions and Konami in order to resurrect Silent Hills, due to, of course, the continued demand for it five years after its cancellation. You guys are, of course, probably aware of the fact that you can no longer download PT, so a lot of people would tend to, like, sell their PlayStations that still have it installed, which is kind of crazy. However, interestingly, they claim that the only game in active development was actually a reboot of the Silent Hill franchise, being worked on by many of the staff members that created the original games alongside Sony Interactive Entertainment Japan Studio, who are known for all classic games such as Ape Escape, Shadow of the Colossus, and more recently, The Last Guardian. Their sources also claim that Silent Hills would make use of the next gen edition of the PlayStation VR, which again, of course, we have yet to uh, hear more about. And then two weeks after that article, Konami made another official statement claiming that the rumours being reported were all false, and when asked for clarification, they said that they weren't completely closing the door of the franchise, but it's just not in the way that it's being reported. This suggests that, of course, the franchise is still alive in some capacity. Recently, however, according to the YouTuber Moore's Law is Dead, who previously leaked God of War Ragnarok, said that Silent Hills is back in development. Now, of course, anytime it's a rumor or it comes from, like, you know, somebody other than the official source, do take it with a massive pinch of salt. However, if they have some previous credibility, you can at least entertain the potential idea. Supposedly, Sony are behind this collaboration with Kojima Productions and Konami in order to make the game a PS5 exclusive. Honestly, a uh, future where you see Konami and Kojima Productions working in some kind of capacity is still wild and kind of hard to believe, but regardless, putting that to one side, they also said the game is supposed to be announced at the Game Awards 2020, which of course brings us to next week. Game Awards is on the 10th, and as mentioned, they are they typically love to have their, their world exclusives and whatnot, and there's often quite a lot of trailers that do drop during that time. Honestly, I'm hoping to see, there's a lot of games I'm hoping to see, but supposedly, this is one of those titles that may show up. So that's it for Silent Hill. But what about Metal Gear Solid? Well, supposedly that same leaker also claims that Bluepoint, the team that of course have recently done the fantastic Demon's Souls remake, which I'm still working through, getting my butt kicked, they are supposedly, again, according to the leaker, working on a Metal Gear Solid remake in collaboration with Konami. Now the claim is the remake has been in development for three years already with gameplay demos ready to be revealed at upcoming events. Again, could well be the Game Awards. He also claims that Sony themselves are actually waiting to announce both games because they don't want to repeat the mistakes of Microsoft with something like revealing Halo Infinite far too soon and then having to kind of push it back and just have people be disgruntled as a result. 
However, rather interestingly, this sentiment also mirrors claims from YouTuber Red Gaming Tech, who claim that the release of Metal Gear Solid will be a full-blown remake, not just a like, we're kind of gonna slightly pretty it up. They're talking full-blown remake akin to that of the Final Fantasy VII remake that we've had recently, which of course was a complete overhaul, fancy new visuals, new direction, different things like that. And they said that as a result of that, it is much more than just a remaster. Although their sources state that Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, and 4 are also all being re-released with their own remasters. Again, difference between remake and remaster. So, for those of you guys that are fans of either or both of those series, there could potentially be something uh, to, you know, maybe keep your eyes up for in the not too distant future. Safe to say, as and when they do get announced, especially Metal Gear Solid, I'll be honest with you, I'm not really one for horror games. I'm, uh, I'm just a bit of a scaredy cat. So, uh, let's, I'm, I'm gonna lean more towards Metal Gear Solid Remake, but regardless, if either of them are announced, I'll let you guys know. So keep your eyes peeled, because of course next week is the Game Awards, and uh, regardless, there's gonna be some cool stuff dropping, so uh, it's one to watch. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys want to chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.